All right, folks, welcome to the workbench again. Um, got a fancy schmancy logo. Uh, figured I'd start using that. So anyway, um, had a interesting problem today um, in my uh, home office where I've been spending a lot of time working and messing around with stuff. Um, power all of a sudden went out just to the office. So, uh, you know, normally, first thing I do, go flip the breaker, but the breaker wasn't tripped. So, um, thought that was odd. Nothing else was going on in the house. So, uh, started looking around, trying to figure out what could be the issue, and decided to open the breaker panel, the main breaker panel at the house, and this is what I find. A melted connector one of those push-in wire connectors um, now this isn't something that I had done uh, and you can see they used a couple other ones here to join in the neutrals for these arc fault breakers um, so uh, I guess what had happened is this connection got loose over time uh, started uh, I guess arcing and then um, at some point it got too hot so uh, I just thought it'd be a cool uh, video to kind of go over this failure just because I'm interested in failures like this and I guess other people are too so um, so kind of uh, to show you what this looked like before it melted itself um, so this is a representative sample of uh, what these things sort of look like uh, they're pushing wire connectors so you strip the wire back and you just shove it on in there and these little blades sort of clamp the wire down or at least that's what they're supposed to do um, and they bridge the connection between the wires so if you have a neutral on this side um, to your butt to your neutral bus then you can get um, you can connect that neutral bus to this wire and then a third wire that you'd put in there so that's what the electrician here had done was um, we were using this arc fault breaker and then he needed to get that neutral from this side to the other side and there wasn't enough wire run it to here so he just ran it in here in this little push-in wire connector uh, and everything was fine for a while um, looking back I was having some issues with UPS's uh, my UPS's in the office would uh, randomly uh, go on to battery power and I think they were they were sensing some fluctuations due to due to this issue here um, glaringly obvious that there was a, a problem here um, so one of the things that I thought was pretty cool uh, and we'll we'll go over this in uh, the camera so like I was saying this is a uh, this is the connector here or what's left of it um, I hope the lighting's okay it is what it is at this point I don't have a better setup um, and you can see you know it melted um, the the plastics that they use in this this kind of stuff this kind of residential electrical stuff is is uh, made to instead of burn it um, it just sort of melts and chars and it can't sustain a flame so that's the whole that's the whole point of this it failed the way it was supposed to so, but when it was connected, it was connected like this. If you can see that, okay. So uh, this wire uh, came from the uh, neutral uh, on the load side, so from my office, and then uh, this wire went out to the neutral bus um, in the panel. And you can tell, I'm gonna use the wire to point here trying to get it good I don't know if you can see that but you can see there's some discoloration here there's some discoloration here in this little band um, that presses into the wire and you can tell it got hot see this one didn't have a wire connected to it and it's still just silver and you can see sort of a, a straw up to like blue like a bluish purple right there um, the cool thing is is that tells us how hot it got so 
this image i've i've seen this image for years and years um it, it's it's been floating around the internet if i've tried to find the original source i'd i'd, I'd have trouble finding it um i'm sure somebody can correct me on it um but basically this is uh what metal what certain metals look like when they they heat up um they turn different colors and you've you know you've seen this if you've ever seen a hot uh, hot piece of steel um you know depending on where where you saw it from some sometimes those import cars will have the the colored exhaust tips where they heat the the end of it up real hot but in any case um we can tell by the the bluish purplish color uh we're getting between 540 and 590 um degrees fahrenheit that's 310 for you um international types 310 c i mean that's that's hot um for a piece of plastic uh the fact that it didn't catch fire is is um a testament to the types of chemistry that they they put on the research and chemistry that they put on these uh these types of connectors to not burn people's houses down um so i think that's uh that's pretty cool so um yeah basically that's uh that's what it was today playing around with this um i cut off way more than this wire that i needed um and just sort of put a wire nut on it and then um ran a new wire to the to the neutral bus so back up and running uh weird issue to have to deal with but um I guess that is what it is. I, I did a little reading on uh, some stack, the stack DIY stack exchange, which if you consider that credible, I don't know. Um, but some people were saying they don't like these because long term they can sort of do this. They can melt and cause issues, and um, they're the they save time on installs. But um, something about wire nuts make a better um, permanent solution. So as these I guess go out, and I may go ahead and swap these out with um with wire nuts at some point but um yeah so fun times this afternoon that's it for today